This is Pastor Din Padayag. Welcome to Soul Food First. We are still continuing with our series on rightly dividing the word of truth. Uh, yesterday, we talked about the main features of the unrevealed, unprophesied, secret, and mystery program of God. We learned that in the dispensation of grace, number one, Israel is set aside temporarily along with the Gentiles. Number two, mercy is shown to all, both uh, Jews and Gentiles alike. Number three, the gospel of the grace of God through Christ's finished work is now proclaimed. Number four, believers are reconciled to God by His cross. Number five, Jewish and Gentile believers are baptized by the Holy Spirit into one body, and that is the body of Christ. Number six, this body of believers is given position in Christ in heavenly places. Now, as we continue, let us uh, talk about why the revelation of the mystery in its wholeness and entirety is important uh, to us. Number one, God has made it known. In Ephesians chapter 1 verse 9, we find that the Bible says, Having made known unto us the mystery of His Will meaning God had already revealed his mystery. Yes, it was a mystery hidden in God, secret in the time past, but no longer hidden, no longer secret now in this present dispensation of grace. God has already revealed this secret and mystery program to the Apostle Paul and then to us in our time. And not only that, but Christ had inspired the Apostle Paul to write down all the details of this revelation of the mystery so that we can see it clearly. Number two, it is His will that all will see it. It is God's desire that uh, everyone will see the revelation of the mystery. Since he already revealed it, unfolded it, the secret is out, the mystery is no longer hidden, he revealed it to Apostle Paul, and so he inspired Apostle Paul to write in details about it. Because his desire is that we all will see it, understand it, and be blessed by it. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 9, the Bible says, And to make all men see what is the fellowship. That the word fellowship here is oikonomia in Greek. It means dispensation of the mystery. The knowledge or understanding of this blessed truth of the revelation of the mystery is not only for missionaries. It's not just for the pastors and for the religious leaders, but all for us. It is for everyone to learn and understand. And actually, it is God's desire that we will know the whole mystery program of God and not just a portion of it or part of it, but God's desire is we will uh, know all of it. Number three, Paul asked prayers for open doors uh, to make it known. Let's go to Colossians chapter 4 verse 3. Here's the prayer of the Apostle Paul. He says, praying that God would open unto us a door of utterance to speak the mystery of Christ. Now, the door here refers to the opportunity to share and preach the gospel of grace and teach the revelation of the mystery. And not only that Paul prays for the opportunity to preach and teach the mystery of Christ and the gospel of grace, but also for it to spread rapidly and be glorified, meaning to spread it fast and be honored 
and, and that he will be uh, spared and he will not be hindered while sharing the mystery of God. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 1 and 2, Paul asked the believers there to pray. He says, Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may run swiftly and be glorified just as it is with you, and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for not all have faith. That is an important uh, prayer from the Apostle Paul. Number four, he asked prayers for an open mouth and boldness to proclaim the mystery of Christ. In Ephesians chapter 6 verse 19, the Bible says that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. The Apostle Paul was you know, well aware that teaching and preaching an uncommon or unpopular message can be challenging and, you know, it can be discouraging. He felt he was against the wind and everyone was against him because he was preaching a different message. And so he prayed for boldness that despite challenges and difficulties, he would remain firm knowing that he was called by God and he was given a message to preach and he was given a ministry to do. Now let's go to the book of Acts chapter 20 verses 18 through verse 24 and just read the testimony of the Apostle Paul uh, during his ministry and the things that he faced during his uh, preaching. The Bible says, You know from the first day that I came into Asia, after what manner I have been with you at all seasons, serving the Lord with all humility of mine and with many tears and temptations, which befell me or happened to me by the laying in wait of the Jews and how I keep uh, back nothing that was profitable unto you but have shewed you and have taught you publicly and from house to house testifying both to the Jews and Greeks repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ and now Behold, I go bound in the Spirit unto Jerusalem, not knowing the things that shall befall me there, save that the Holy Ghost witnesseth in every city, saying that bonds and afflictions abide me, or Paul is saying, uh, await me. And then in verse 24, he says, But none of these things move me. Paul is talking about all the things that the Holy Spirit warned him about when he goes to Jerusalem, talking about the challenges and the trials and the tribulations, even death that he is going to face. And he says, Neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy and the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus and uh, here he is saying to testify the gospel of the grace of God. Here we find Paul's unwavering commitment and his relentless passion to preach the gospel of grace in particular and reveal the mystery in general. He is also talking about his firm commitment to expand the ministry farther. Number Five, the knowledge of the mystery imparts spiritual encouragement and enlightenment. Colossians chapter 2 verse 2, the Bible says that their hearts may be encouraged, being knit together in love and attaining to all riches of the full assurance of understanding to the full uh, knowledge of the mystery both of the Father and of Christ.
Christ. Now, it is God's desire that we will have a full understanding and knowledge of God and His mystery program for our time. Not only for our good, for our personal benefit, but for others also, so that we might be able to impart sound doctrine and spiritual encouragement to the people in this wicked and confused world. Number six, believers are established by this mystery. Now, the foundation on which we stand affects so much, you know, when we talk about our stability and our spiritual strength. You know, there are people or many people are strong by themselves, but they are standing in a, a very weak foundation and so they just fall so easily. Now, our Apostle Paul advises us in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1, that we must be strong and where? In the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Apostle Paul knows that Christ and His grace are a strong foundation that we have to stand upon. The Apostle uh, Paul also talks about this in uh, Romans chapter 16 verse 25 speaking of standing firm in the mystery in the grace of God he says now to him the him there is the Lord Jesus Christ that is of power to establish you according to my gospel that's the gospel of grace the revelation of the mystery and the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery Again, the mystery here refers to the special body of truth, uh, the grace dispensation or the grace gospel that the resurrected Christ has given to the Apostle Paul for us Gentiles. Beloved, join us next week as we conclude this series. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy your soul food. You are watching... So Food First on Grace TV. Please follow us on the Grace TV Facebook page. And please subscribe to our Grace TV YouTube channel. Until next time, God bless you. Bye!